Hi gang, today I'm going to show you how to make some really pretty Christmas gift bags. This one is going to be a standard handle bag that we're going to decorate and use this really pretty pine cone die and the little sprigs there. And this one is actually a pocket, so you have a tag that is tucked right inside there. Clever. And this one is called a bagalope. You'll see why in a minute. Super clever. Really cute idea. Great for a gift card, money, small gifts. And then this cute little tote bag, I have a pattern for, and it comes together really easily. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the big handle bag first. I have a white one that I'm going to use. Get all my pieces here. Uh, for the base, I'm going to, I just thought it was kind of pretty to give it a little dovetail at the bottom. So the dovetail, the easy way to do that is make a center slit and then you're going to cut from corner to center and then corner to center and then that is how you get a nice even dovetail. Get the glue and we'll stick this to our red. This is a oldie but goodie pattern paper that I had extra of and we'll put that onto candy apple cardstock. Alright, so when you glue this onto your bag, leave the top open. Don't glue that because we want this to become a pocket. You could use red line tape adhesive, that really strong stuff, but uh, just a U. Eh, we don't need to go down that far. So leave the top open for our pocket. Alrighty, next I have a little piece, a strip of zip strip, and just for a decorative element, I'm going to put that across the top, but not all the way. Leave a little border there. Just a little design element. And then our message, we're going to layer, I have this all stamped up to save some time. May your days be merry and bright. And we're going to layer that onto silver glitter cardstock. But first I want to ink up the edges. I have sage ink here and a sponge dauber. And just dab it on your ink pad and flick. Just flick around the edges there. Come back for more ink. Flick the edge and you can see that really nice soft, hazy edging. Real pretty. Just makes that white pop a little bit. And I'm going to glue that silver glitter paper down next. there and our message is going to be on foam tape when you're gluing something onto glitter cardstock you really should use something ridiculously strong like red line tape adhesive or foam tape foam tape work works really well on glitter cardstock so and I wanted that popped up I love foam tape makes everything look better All right, but got to give that a nice good squish. Make that adhere nice. And if you noticed, I put foam tape in the middle too. I didn't just do the edges because I didn't want it to be like concave in the center. Sometimes with a larger element, you want to do that so it doesn't sink on you in the middle. All right, our pine cone. This is just so darn pretty. I'm going to glue this 
onto the base. So with these intricate layers, I put my glue and then I dab it on the back of my hand to get rid of excess extra glue that's going to kind of squish out the sides. Layer that. And our little sprigs. Just layer these like that. And I'm going to put this, let's lay it without glue first just to get our placement. Yeah, I'm just going to glue that. Let that hang off the edge there. Foam tape on the pine cone. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So a little dovetail and layer with some glitter paper. Leave the top open for a pocket and a really pretty pine cone there. So our tag that we're going to put in here is a die that I stamped. And I want to add this bow. This is just so darn cute. Isn't that... I love the way that looks. This is a die. We have a small and a large. This is the small. And these are still available. And I love that it has the stitch lines to it. So it cuts out the the dovetail sides with a little with a little piece here. And then this one that almost looks like eyeglasses, little spectacles. And this is the round bow part. So what I what I like to do here is hold it in the middle and then start curling it around my finger. I want to coax that paper. I want to start bending those paper fibers. Switch. And then there's little tabs on the ends. I'm going to put glue in the center and then stick the tab down. Just a tiny little touch. You can see how that's coming together there for one of the loops for our ribbon. And then a little glue there for the other tab. And that's the bow part. Comes together really easily. Alrighty, so what we're going to do next, you can use a mini glue dot or your liquid glue. I'm going to stick that bow to the base here. Let that bond for a second. And then this little tab thing here, what, what that's going to do, I'm going to push it up and over. And that makes it look real, realistic. And just a tiny bit is going to tuck over the back side. Isn't that cute? But we need to glue it. So a little touch. Up and over. If you have fingernails, that comes in handy. I don't. And there's our adorable little bow. I love it. It's so stinking cute. And I'm going to just glue that to the top where the hole is on that tag. And you can... Uh, I was going to say, you can glue down... You know, on this part of the tag, if you don't want it to come off a little bit there. And a little bit there. Let that bond. And there is your really, really cute little tag with the bow, and that's going to get tucked into our pocket. Ta-da! Great gift idea. So you could have a gift in the, in the gift bag plus another gift in the tag part. You can attach a gift card or money, cash, you know, to that. Or just have that be your, your message. Really cute. All right, next let's go to the bag of lope. Why do we call it a bag of lope? Because it is starting out as 
an envelope. Bag of lope. We're going to lick it and stick it. So lick your flap of the envelope and stick it shut. I'm going to come to my scoreboard. And we're going to score a half inch on three sides. We'll put it up in the corner here. So half inch, turn, half inch, turn, half inch. So three sides. And then you're going to fold them, give them a little smash. And that bottom. You can fold it the other way too. Make sure those creases are nice and strong. All right, and the the side we did not score, you're going to just cut off the top. Um, my, I would have my paper trimmer, I'm looking on my table, and I, I moved it. So I'm just going to use my scissor and cut off a sliver off that end we did not score. So essentially we're opening the envelope. So we scored three sides, two tall sides and one short side, and then cut a sliver off. So this, you got a hand puppet now, right? <laughs> what we're gonna do here is put your hand in there to open up the sides and you're gonna push that down. And the score marks that we made just crease them good. Let's do the other side. So this side that's sticking up, push it down. And then I push it in and then crease along those score marks that we made. And the bottom, push it in. Now you see this little flap on my particular envelope didn't have adhesive all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna just put some glue on there. So push that bottom in, and then you're going to end up with these little ears on the bottoms. You're just going to pinch. Just pinch them flat. I've got glue on my finger. <laughs> just pinch, pinch it flat and then you're gonna tuck it underneath. Pinch and tuck, pinch and tuck. Now you can just leave them like that or you can glue those down if you want. Now I see my adhesive on my flap wasn't sticking all the way so I'm just gonna come down with my liquid glue there. And that becomes your bag. That is the bag -a -lope. So an envelope, stick it shut, score three sides, fold them in, and then just cut across the top. And there you have it, isn't that cool? All right, but I'm gonna open this back up again just to decorate it. So that's how you fold it into the bag -a -lope shape. But I'm gonna leave it flat for decorating. And let me come back to my scoreboard. I have cut a bracket shape out of pine cardstock, and I'm gonna score this in half from point to point. I'm gonna line up these points. Uh, that looks good. And give that a score. You could just fold it in half too, but I wanted it nice and even. And these are our other design elements. Pine cardstock, we're gonna glue this down. Oh, 
right in the middle there. Pattern paper on top. And this is some old Christmas pattern paper that I had in my stash. And I have two little sprigs. Pine and sage is what I used. A little glue there. And I'll overlap them like that. And then the message, Happy Holidays, I have stamped and used a die cut to cut that out. That was from an old stamp set, too. I'm kind of going retro here and using a lot of older stuff. And let's see where I want that. Right about there. Glue these down. Happy Holidays. Alrighty, and then this is going to become our flap. So I want to glue this only to the back side. Just to the back side, but even that out there. So that little flap is glued only to the back side. All right, let's open this back up. So you're going to put your hand in, push the sides in. Push the side in and the bottom push in. You got these little ears, give a little pinch and a tuck, pinch and a tuck. All right, and then there is our bag. You're going to just push the top closed and bring this flap over. And I have a Velcro dot that I'm going to use to close it up. Uh-oh, I've got my one half, but where did my other half go? Uh-oh, oh, there it is. Fell on the floor. All right, Velcro dots. You got your male and female sides. So I take one of each, and then I kiss them together. I'm going to put one, they're so sticky, so I put one on that flap and then we're going to close it, give it a press, and then lift it up, and then they're evenly matched in the right space. You can come back and put glue on those tabs if you like, use a little mini glue dot, that works well too. But we're going to put another one of these bows on this cute little bag lope. So again, curl, little dot of glue in the center, glue that tab, let that bond for a second, whoops, a little more than a second maybe. <laughs> little glue. And turn that one in. And then we're going to glue this one to the base there, All right in the middle. I just love how these come together. It's so cute. If you send a card with this, it's going to get flattened. But these are great for 3D projects and gift giving. All right, so again, this little straight tab, it's gonna go up and over. And I love with our pattern paper that it's double-sided, you have that contrast of the back side of the pattern paper in the middle there. That little polka dotty piece, super cute. All righty, so that's going right over our flap. Let it 
screw that down. Give that a little press. And there is your bag of lope. Love it. So cute. So cute. All right. Hope you learned something new there. This is going back to Dot's days where we did bag of lopes. We would take the business, a business size envelope, you know, the big long ones, seal it shut, cut it in half, and then you get two out of one envelope. Really great. Okay, next. <coughs> We're going to make the tote box. Tote bag, tote box, box bag. <laughs> Let me show you this pattern. I got this out in a fantastic scrapbooking store out in Arizona when I was visiting my buddy Carol. Hey, Carol! We saw these in the store on, on their display in the scrapbook store. And, and of course their sample was, you know, so cute and pretty. And we were looking at it like, Ooh, Hey, how did they make that? That's so cute. I want to make one of those. And the lady working in the store said, would you like a pattern? We're like, yes. So she kindly gave us this cute little pattern. So, uh, you can contact me, email me. Um, I will email it to you. I'll, I'll try. I don't know if I can attach this to this video post. I'm not very techy. But we'll figure it out. All right, let me come back to my scoreboard. <coughs> what you need are two pieces of six by six pieces of paper. And this is ridiculously easy. You're going to score three sides at one and a half inches. One side, three quarter inch. So... One and a half, turn it. One and a half, turn it. One and a half, turn it. And then three quarters on that last side. Same thing here. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half, three quarter inch. All right, we're going to give these creases a smash on all four sides. Again, choose your pattern paper. And ours that are double-sided, this just looks so darn pretty. So my sample is going to look different. I'm using different pattern paper than this. Alrighty. So the three quarter inch is going to be the top. So I want my three quarter inch pieces up at the top. And we're going to remove these two bottom squares. So cut on your score line. Remove that. There we go. All right, so we remove that. And now I, I uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> we gotta cut off these two as well. But if you look at my sample, this pattern paper has the green at the top. I'm just folding that three quarter inch edge over the opposite way. So when the box comes together, it's gonna look like that. I really like that. You can reverse it, of course. Maybe you want the red to be your box and then when it folds it's going to look like that. So play around with that and decide you know which which side you want to show. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is overlap these two pieces like that. Now if you want you can you can glue down this three quarter inch flap if you don't want it to be loose. It's an option. But we're you know fold it over. We want some nice creases there. <clears throat> Okay, so we made one long piece, and then there it is. It's a box. Ta-da! Isn't that ridiculously easy? How about it? So we scored three-quarter inch along the top. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Remove these two bottom pieces, and then stick them together, and then just fold it on up like that. So super simple. Red line tape, liquid glue. There you go. I want that going the same direction this way. Okay. We're going to add a handle. I have an eighth inch hole punch. I'm just going to pop a hole in each side. And we're going to thread some ribbon through it there. Push that through to the inside. And I'm going to tie a little knot as a, a stopper. Okay, and then bring it on through to the other side. Then, you know, we can determine how short or how long do you want your handle to be maybe a little shorter and we'll tie a knot over on this side some things are easier with fingernails you know oh my goodness I'm going to pull a little extra through so I have something more to hang on to. There we go. There we go. That works better. I like that. Okay, then we can cut off a little bit of extra there. All right, so there's our little handles with little knots on the inside. And then to decorate the front of this box... We've got some more pine cones and some little sprigs and our Merry Christmas to you message. But I wanted to show you with these with these pine cones that they look pretty darn cool if you sandpaper them. So here's one. This one is plain and then this one I sandpapered. It gives it kind of a, a real realistic realistic rusty look rustic look now when you do this one be very very careful just lightly you don't want to tear any of those openings it's kind of lacy all right let's glue these together and I dab off on my hand get any extra 
blobs off of there. Layer that. I love this pine cone die. This came in a card kit. I forget the name of it. It just came out recently. But I used to use the Cricut to cut pine cones. Oh lord, that was difficult. You had to have a real sticky mat and a real sharp blade and you know for it to cut out all of those little bits. Oh, what a hassle. This is 10 times easier. 10 times easier. All right, one of these pine cones I'm going to put some foam tape on. All right, and let's get these going here. So this pine cone, I'm going to put right about there. And ooh, I want to tuck that underneath there. There we go. And then I'm going to put one of these under there too. And then this guy, <clears throat> he's going to be over there. And then the pine cone on the foam tape will layer that facing this way. And this is a this is a, a good way. If you if you make any mistake and you want to cover something up, you can just overlap. And then our message. Merry Christmas to you. Tuck a little underneath there. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, I hope you like that idea. It's schnazzy, a nice little, and it's sturdy. It's it's you know, nice little sturdy box. Put some tissue paper in there, some colored tissue paper, real pretty. Alrighty, guys, so you have your little box bag. You have your bag of loaf. And then our handle bag that we made into a pocket. So I hope you like these ideas and feel inspired to make some fun gift bags of your own. Thanks for joining me. Bye.